Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. It's me, Daisy, and today's video is going to be all about washi tape. We're talking about five different ways that we love using washi tape here at Yoseka. And there are so many different ways to use washi tape. So if you have any that we didn't cover in this video, um, please comment below because I get quite, I get asked all the time in store, um, what is a good way to use all of this tape? So before we go into all of that, um, let's talk a little bit about what is washi tape. So washi tape is actually decorative tape. It often comes in rolls like this. I have a lot of rolls here in front of me. It often comes in rolls like this and it can be called decorative tape or washi tape. And it is tape. So just like normal tape that everybody uses, it's sticky on the back and on the front, there is often a really, really pretty sort of design and washi tape can come in so many different designs. There are a few really big washi tape companies in Japan that we have um, a lot of like BGM and MT washi tape. But beyond that, there are so many more and lots of people make their own types of washi tape or lots of brands make washi tapes. Um, so there's kind of a lot of different designs, infinite designs, and people will collect them. So the paper that washi tape is actually made out of is called washi paper. And that's where the name washi tape comes from. Washi paper is a traditional Japanese paper that is really, really textured because it uses um, the pulp of a tree and it's, it's, it's handmade traditionally. So if you ever felt handmade paper before, it has that texture of just kind of being really rough paper um, and they have made it into washi tape and that's exactly what washi tape is. So it is sticky but it's sticky in a way that most of the time it's actually removable. So once you stick it on paper, it's not like the 3M scotch tape where if you were to try and rip it off from the paper, it would just completely destroy your paper or whatever document it is you have the tape on. Washi tape is sticky, but it is a removable adhesive. So you can actually peel off the washi tape and reuse it again and again. I mean, I think after like the second or third time, you're reusing it, it's not going to be as sticky, obviously, but it will work perfectly fine on paper. And if you're not trying to like hang something off the wall that can't fall down. So um, most of the time people use washi tape for decorative purposes. And we're going to talk more about some of the different ways that we love using washi tape here at Yoseka. And I'll start off with just showing you all some of the different types of washi tape that we have. Um, that I've prepared because there are so many different types of washi tape. So here in front of me, I've just kind of gathered up some of our favorite types of washi tape. Traditionally, washi tape will come on a roll like this. So a large roll, uh, usually the dimensions are 15 millimeters. So these are pretty standard dimensions of washi tape. And they come in, just as you can see here, so many different designs. There are designs with cats. There are designs with flowers. There are designs with airmail and mail motifs. There are very plain designs and um, that's just really the tip of the iceberg. Like actually it's, it's insane how many types of washi tape there are. Um, there is Kita tape like this, which is actually a booklet of pre-cut washi tape strips like this. So these are actually pre-cut little strips of tape like that you remove the backing off of and they are foldable like this in, in the matchbook so that you can travel with this uh, booklet of tape as opposed to having to travel with a whole roll of washi tape. Um, there are washi stickers like this that Stology makes. These are super popular for organizing, for um, sticking into sticking things into planners, for decorating. It looks really, really cute and whimsical to have one of these stickers popping up um, somewhere on the journal page. I love the look of that, but also you can use it to like color code things. And these are just really great. There are washi stickers 
There are washi stickers that come in the traditional sheets, um, kind of like this, but with all the different designs. And there are washi stick. There are washi stickers that come on rolls like this. Bondé is a company that makes washi stickers on rolls that you peel off like that. And you can stick it onto your journal page like that. And just to show you all, they are, if you remove carefully, I mean, obviously if you rip at it, it will tear the paper, but the purpose is that it can be removed, you can pick it up, say you pick, put it there and you don't like it, you can move it somewhere else onto the page. Or if somebody sends you some a washi sticker that you actually want to reuse, you can actually peel it off very carefully from the surface of whatever they used and reuse it in your journal. So that's one of the reasons why people really love washi. They come in, you know, other other sticker shapes like these. These are like pre-made label shapes that are meant to be like paint swatches. So we are seeing so many different forms of washi, washi tape, washi stickers. And um, we're gonna talk about some of the different ways that we like to use washi tape. Number one way that we use washi tape is sealing envelopes. If you've been to our store, you've shopped with us online, you know that we seal our uh, craft bags that we send out our smaller items in with with washi tape and we love going crazy with all kinds of washi tape and we like to switch it up and I have a couple of examples of sealing envelopes with washi tape. So this isn't our craft paper bags, but I have a couple of letters that um, we've gotten from some friends some pen pals and um, just to show you all like some of the ways that people use washi tape when they're sending mail. So this is a letter that we got from Ame in a recent package. So this is a letter that we got from one of our friends, Ame, in a recent package that she sent us. And she, she used a washi tape just like that to seal this. You can see it's been cut through in the center, but the cool thing about washi tape is that it kind of, you know, you don't have to lick the envelope anymore. You can just use washi tape to seal it. So it's really cute. And um, I like how some people choose to rip the washi tape like that to create more of a natural edge like that. And some people like our friend Ken over here, I've blocked off his address, um, but he's used washi tape just like on the two sides of the flap here to seal his envelope to us. And his is a very clean cut, as you can see here. And um, he's using scissors or some kind of washi tape cutter here. But sealing envelopes is definitely one of the most popular ways to use, one of the most popular and I guess like easy to think of ways that, that we use washi tape all the time. And we also use it to package with in our store. Um, similar to how these envelopes work. So next up in our uh, ways we use washi tape is the big one. So this is just decorating. So um, people who love washi tape know that there is no end to your washi tape collection, okay? You can have like you can have like 10 rolls of washi tape already and if you see a cute design you'll probably want one more and that's also one of the reasons why it's okay to do that is because it is so fun to decorate a journal page in your journal in your planner or whatever notebook you're using with all of your different designs of washi tape it adds a pop of color it adds a pop of fun and it just kind of like is something fun to do, um, to look forward to at the end of your journal entry or the beginning, like however you like to do it. And a popular way that people do it often is either to um, add something like a border or just add a, a pop of color at the end of the page, the beginning of the page, one of the corners of the page, if you're going with the simple way, or some people like to go all out. So I'll show you all um, some of the ways that I like to use washi tape, and I think a lot of us here at Yoseka like to use washi tape to decorate. As I was saying before, there are different ways of tearing washi tape. Um, some people prefer like this more natural edge here, the ripped edge like this. So you can rip it. And oftentimes you're just going to see people kind of putting a strip of washi tape 
at the top of the page or maybe the bottom of the journal page like that. And sometimes it can make more sense to actually use a washi tape cutter like this one here. If your washi tape has very clean divisions in the design like this, and you don't want to like cut off the design so that you get like a really clean edge of where your washi tape design ends and where it starts. Um, like this says, thank you. So I already cut off the T here, but you probably would want a really clean edge on the T and you can put that on the bottom edge of your page like that, just to, just to add a fun touch to your journal page. And another way that people like to use washi tape often is by layering. So if you layer two really interesting washi tape patterns together that kind of go together, they're complementary, or you just kind of like the theme of them and how the ideas will go together, you can do that. So I'm gonna layer this little washi sticker. Um, I'm gonna put it on one of the corners of this washi tape strip here to create just some interesting dimension and a little more depth to the design. And so by layering washi tape, you can layer washi tape with stickers, you can layer washi tape. If you had a thin piece of washi tape, you could layer that on top of this for a really interesting look. And it just kind of makes your decoration a little bit more dynamic. So that's a couple of ways to decorate with washi tape on your journal page. And the same goes for if you're decorating a postcard. So, you know, if you had a postcard, a lot of the times the, 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 the place to decorate might be like somewhere on the top with like a cute little layered sticker over here, somewhere on the bottom. Um, or maybe on this edge over here, you'll see a lot of people do as well. So that's just an idea for how to decorate, but of course, do whatever you want, do whatever you think looks good because there's no wrong answers when it comes to washi tape. <laughs> okay, next step is one of my personal favorite ways of using washi tape. I plan, I uh, use a, a planner for work, I use a planner for personal things, I use a planner, I use lots of planners, and a lot of people on our team do. And um, I write in pen, I don't write in pencil. Some people write their plans first in pencil and then they go over in pen when it solidifies because they don't wanna see cross outs. But with me, I write in pen and sometimes there are cross outs, sometimes things just get rescheduled or whatever. And instead of crossing out, I'll actually use washi tape to go over the plan or like the mistake of whatever I wrote instead of having to cross out or have like a bunch of mistakes in the in the planner. So I'll show you all how that works really well. So say for example, this is my planner page and I originally had an 11 a.m. I don't know, here. Um, 11 a.m. Teeth cleaning. And then maybe I chickened out and I canceled it because I got scared. Um, what comes in handy is a washi tape like this, sometimes a darker one. Don't need it to be that long. And I think it looks good. Actually, sometimes I'll tear the wider washi tapes in half like that. And I'll actually just cover this up like that. So instead of seeing like a crossed out thing, you actually just see a pretty design in your in your timeline, which is just nicer to look at when you're going past your days or you're looking back on your days or whatever, rather than a bunch of crossed out plans. So personally, I love to use washi tape to cover up rescheduled things or appointments that didn't happen or whatever it is. And I hope, um, I hope that gives you an idea for how to use washi tape in your planning. Next up, one of our favorite ways that we've talked about before many, many times is using washi tape to label. So washi tape, while it comes in so 
so many fun designs and printed patterns by different designers you love, different artists you love. There's also really, really useful, really, really cute washi tape that comes in plain colors. So this is an example of one. There are so many. This is by MT and this is like their pastel series with a washi tape label. Perhaps you would want a cleaner edge. I don't know. Personally, I, I might, um, maybe you don't, but you know, you can create a little label like this. Amy on our team infamously <laughs> labeled her planners um, because she had a bunch of them and she just needed to track which, which, you, which one was for what. So, you know, you can use it with a permanent marker like our favorite pilot twin marker and write planner. <laughs> Obviously you wouldn't label it planner, but like you can use this on jars, you can use it on bins or whatever it is, whatever you're organizing around your house. If you have an organization project to do, these are great because they are removable and because they come on a big roll like this, it'll last you a really long time and you can really get through a lot of organization with just one roll of washi tape and one permanent marker. You can use this marker, you can use any permanent marker like a Sharpie, um, whatever it is. Labeling is a big one. We label everything here at Yoseka with washi tape and um, our markers. So I hope that gives you some ideas. Next up, we use washi tape so much for this one. Next up is wrapping. We use washi tape to wrap and to seal the edges of what we're wrapping. So I'll do, so I thought I would do a really simple example of how we would wrap something um, with washi tape. I have a tissue paper in front of me. So let's say we are wrapping this pen in this tissue paper. Um, we do this a million times a day at Yoseka. And our wrapping is that we start with, we use our washi tape cutter we use washi tape to help seal the package that we're wrapping. You want to bring up the edge here. And this is not a learn how to wrap like we do video. <laughs> this is a just wrap with washi tape video. So I'm not going to show you all the step-by-step -step of what we're doing here, but um, I'll tell you that we do use washi tape all the time to wrap our packages and it's a fun way of using washi tape during the holidays to add like a personal touch onto whatever gifts you're giving your loved ones. Okay, and then maybe you wanna, this is your pen that your, your gift, you're gifting away. Maybe you wanna add some more little washi touches on the borders here, make it look really cute. Okay, I think that looks great. So, ta-da, you have now wrapped your present, uh, or you, you now have your present wrapped with washi tape, and your gift receiver will have something really fun to unwrap as they see all these details with washi on their, on their gift. So I hope that gives you some ideas on maybe the holidays or if you have any birthdays coming up on wrapping presents with washi tape. Um, I will say like some of the coated papers, the coated wrapping papers, the washi tape might not be as sticky and the paper might start unwrapping itself, but because this is like a tissue paper, it holds on to the washi adhesive a little bit better because I have to remind you, the washi adhesive is not like a 3M scotch tape adhesive. It's, it's one that is meant to be removed and meant to be reused. So that is our five ways that we love to use washi here at Yoseka. And guess what? Surprise, I actually have a sixth one, a bonus one. Um, I love to use a card like this um, to actually wrap washi tape around and to share with friends. So you got a bonus one. <laughs> um, this is a card. You can use any card that you have around. You can even, somebody once told me they use a New York City Metro card because um, they're now 
mostly like discontinued. Like they don't, they don't, people mostly just tap with their phones. So a lot of people will have extra Metro cards that are expired lying around. Um, but you can use any card and say you want to share a bunch of washi tape with someone. All you have to do is wrap around a bunch of times on the card with the washi tape like that. You just keep going basically. Um, and you can make it as long or as short as you want. And then you just rip off when you're done. And because it is that removable adhesive, your friend will be able to just take this card with them and just when the time comes to use their washi tape, they'll be able to just take this, rip off however much they want and use it however they want. And you can even fit multiple design, designs on this card. A lot of people use this when they're sending snail mail or when they're sending a care package to someone or they'll bring it to a meetup. So this is a good one. Sharing. Sharing is the bonus number six way to use washi tape. All right, guys, I hope you liked today's video. We love washi so much here at Yoseka. Not just washi tape, washi stickers, kita tape, pre-cut washi, all the different types of washi all its forms. And um, if you're new to washi, I do hope this gives you some ideas into the many different ways to use washi. And if you have more that I didn't cover because there are infinite number of ways to use washi, please let us know in the comments what your favorite way of using washi tape is. Thanks for watching. Bye.